Hi, I'm Connor Goodhart. You might know me from just about anything, whether it's YouTube, school, track. Speaking of track, I'm unable to participate in track due to COVID-19, or even go to school in that matter. This left me with time, and I mean lots of time, to think. But all I could think about was how bored I was. It was tough finding something to do, so I picked up one of my old hobbies, playing video games such as Wii Sports or Minecraft. That lasted a solid three days before I started getting bored. So I started talking with friends, and these were very typical conversations about missing school, missing track, missing their sports, whatever. After these conversations, I would typically head over to YouTube, because I hate the Netflix timer, and watch some YouTube videos. Eventually, out of pure boredom, I decided to head over to my YouTube channel, which had been collecting dust for a couple months now. And then I decided to start making videos again. About what, though? I couldn't make the traditional track videos with Derek or Uriel because, well, there is no track. Until May 4th, at least. And then I started thinking again, what if I started to interview people about how they're dealing with boredom and what they're doing to keep busy? I then set out on a mission of Snapchatting and texting people and asking if they wanted to be a part of my video. Most of them said they'd love to, so it was an easy start. I took some time out of their not-so-busy days to interview them about how they were spending their time in self-quarantine. Without further ado, here are the interviews. The first interview was Amber Finley of Wheaton, Minnesota. The interview went over pretty well, except the quality was a little rough because I didn't quite have a good setup yet. Are you ready for the interview of a lifetime? Yes. Okay. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19, or which is more commonly known as coronavirus? Um, everything that I worked for all year kind of got taken away. I was supposed to be making FCCLA history tonight by being the youngest FCCLA president and the first person to hold two positions on the executive council. But instead of sitting at home, <laughs> Um, I couldn't go to speech subsections after having my best season of my life. So, yeah, everything's just kind of getting taken away. So, how would you say you're dealing with all this? Uh, decently, I guess. <laughs> well, you've gone from having a fairly busy lifestyle to being self-quarantined. Um, what do you do to keep busy? Uh, well, I've cleaned a lot, and I've been running a lot, and just doing things that I've kind of been putting off because I didn't have time, and Netflix, to be quite honest. <laughs> Solid. If you could change anything right now, what would it be? That I would be at FCCLA State Conference. <laughs> Why is that? Because I was elected last year on March 29th, and I've been looking forward to the state conference since then. And I spent a lot of time planning it and preparing for it. And I put some money into it, so it's just a big letdown. I see. Speaking of FCCLA, I saw on the Minnesota FCCLA Facebook page about how you posted about finding a new normal. Personally, I related to that a lot, and I feel like everyone else can also relate to that, which is why I included it among my interview questions. My question for you is, what was your life before, and what is your new normal now? My life before was very stressful. I always had responsibilities and things to get done, and on top of that, I'd have to make sure I did good on my schoolwork and get good grades. And now I have very little responsibilities. I'm still doing FCCLA, but not as much as I did before. And there's no school. So I have a lot of time on my hands where I didn't before. And it's very odd. Very interesting, yes. <laughs> what would you say to people out there who don't know what to do with this free time? I'd say utilize the time to figure out who you are as a person. Whereas if you were at school, you'd have all the other influences and 
by taking all those influences away, this is the time that you can actually get to know who you are as a person and to find hobbies that you enjoy doing and use this time to plan for the future rather than focusing on the past. <laughs> well, Amber, I believe this wraps up our uh, interview here. I'd like to thank you for your time. And, um, yeah, thank you. The second interview I had was Zondra Diederman of Wheaton, Minnesota. Now, this interview kind of went off the rails as Zondra would just start talking about random things. So I had to kind of get her back on track. But overall, this interview went really well, I'd say. So here it is. Zondra. Zondra. Hold on one, one second. Let's get back on track here. Zandra, how are you today? Um, it's basically like every other day, fine, I suppose. But like, you don't have school. It's also Saturday, Connor. Yeah? What's your point? <laughs> okay. Actually, no school's been kind of fun, but I miss it. Yeah, I, I miss it too, especially track. Okay, I don't miss track. I miss having something to do. Yeah, I have. I don't. I don't know about you, but I have way too much free time on my hands now. I literally went on a walk with my mom. That's how bored I was. Hey, I went on a walk with my dog to find the pickle jar, but the pickle jar was gone. Okay, someone actually took their time and dug it up. Yeah. It was probably Lash. Probably, well, actually, no, because he thought it was a cool science experiment. Someone dug up me and Brody's pickle jar and threw it away. People these days, Connor. I know. All right, but back to this interview. So, what's it like to go, what's it like from having a somewhat busy lifestyle with school and track and after school sports to where you are now? I wake up at 12. So, I do nothing all day. It's boring. I want school. But, um, alright. So, are you looking forward to your school's distance learning program? The only good thing about it is I won't have to smell hen dogs. I mean, that's that might be something to look forward to. Um, otherwise, no. But, I mean... seeing Levi's double chin every time on Zoom. He sits here like this. So you guys have done um, those Zoom press conference calls or whatever now? Yeah, with Mr. Fisher. How are those? We've only done one, and it's kind of weird. How do you feel about your uh, locker of monsters being thrown out? I cried, Connor. I was so upset. I saw... I it filled an entire garbage can, and then we had to go put more in the other garbage can. Why didn't you just, like, take a garbage bag and take all the monster cans home? Why? Oh, I mean, that makes sense, then. Yeah. If you could change anything right now, what would it be? Like, anything. Anything. My height. Why is that? I, I know you meant, um, I probably just want to see my friends. I mean, yeah, I can see that. Wilson just got all these bills just Yeah, I want to see friends. <laughs> um, do you think we're going to be going back to school on May 4th or no? No. Are you hoping at least? I'm hoping we are, but I know we aren't. I'm being realistic. That That's kind of depressing. Yeah. Um, what have you been doing to keep busy during this uh, two-week period? Watching Arrow. Like for a solid two weeks? Connor. Yeah. And getting played by some dude. Connor, track season was my chance to meet boys, and now it's done. I know, they just, you were so close and they absolutely took that away from you. Yeah, 
It's the only thing that's sad about. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Where were we? You're talking about boys in track season. Yeah. I didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> I'm going insane. From sitting at home for two weeks? Yeah, and I was watching TikToks last night and I saw the stupidest one ever. A guy was trying to whip and he fell over and I laughed for legit five minutes straight. <laughs> Zandra, I don't think that's okay. <laughs> I know, and I'm going insane. Every single TikTok I see is the absolute funniest thing ever. So, to stay busy, you've been watching Netflix and TikToks. Yeah. I mean, that's something to do, I guess. Well, I mean, I would, like, talk to people, but currently getting ignored, so... No, just, oh, I cut bangs. Really? I cut side bangs. I don't know if you can see them, but, like. Nice. I was bored. So, you're making a YouTube video? Yep, it's, um, it's gonna be about an hour long, basically. It's about me interviewing people about their life in quarantine. Also made a part two about the pickle jar. That's dropping soon. Killing those crayons, Sandra. Bored. I can tell. Yeah. You know, Lake. Every time I leave him unopen, he double snaps. Don't talk about anything. It's annoying. Good. This is hand sanitizer from Bainbridge Funeral Home. Antibiotic. That stuff must be worth a fortune. Dylan used to eat it. No, Grant would put it in his mouth and eat it. Nice. Yeah. Is that all you needed, Connor? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what else to say here, but thanks for your time, Zandra. Yeah, thanks, Connor. You're about to be YouTube famous. Oh, I sure hope. The third interview I had was Georgia Gallagher of Wheaton, Minnesota. I managed to catch her not too long after she woke up, but this interview went really well. Here it is. Hi, Connor. Hi, Georgia. Are you ready? Are you ready for the interview of a lifetime? Yes, I am. Okay. So, how would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? lot more grateful and I promise I'll go out every time I get asked to hang out because <laughs> I turn it down all the time but now I'm like no nope. you ask me I'll be there <laughs> so do you miss being out and about yeah I still go outside it's just I don't see anyone like yeah. I go out and shoot hoops or I go out and run but that's about it yeah I went out for a walk today and it was just a ghost town yeah. Um, what's it like from going to a like very active lifestyle with school and sports to where you are now? It really sucks. Like not being able to go to the gym and lift is actually probably one of the most terrifying. Terrifying and terrible things. But you just got to work with what you have, so. <laughs> um <laughs> Let's see. Um, are you ready for your school's distance learning program? Or are you looking forward to that? 
No. I don't learn well online. Like, I'm more of a person that has to, like, interact with people. So, I don't know. It's just one of the ways I learn better. So, this is really going to suck. But, yeah, whatever. I like Zoom, though. Because we fuck around the whole time, and it's really funny. But it's okay. Um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? I'd, I'd have school. Like, I never hated school. I just hated the homework that we got and the schoolwork. But I loved everyone at school. So this is, like, really hard not seeing them. But I would definitely just want to go to school. Would you say um, that you had to find a new normal after getting out of school two weeks ago? Um, well, <laughs> trying to get a sleep schedule, a decent sleep schedule, would be nice. Um, yeah, because I literally lay in bed all day. So that is a normal laying in bed. If I get up, it's like a miracle. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm not a very good interviewer, that's for sure. But that's okay. Neither do you have any uh, comments or anything, or you want to say to people? I hope everyone's doing okay. <laughs> uh, I think this is where we get really creative with stuff that we do because we're going to go insane pretty soon. And it's going to be interesting what people do to just keep sane. Like, I almost made an indoor slip and slide. Not even kidding. I was going to go buy a shit ton of saran wrap and just dish soap and lay it down. But I thought I better not. But it is an idea that I am tempted to do. So we'll see how that goes. You'll have to keep me updated on that one then. I will. I will. Um. So. Yeah, anything else? Otherwise, I'm done here. No, I think I'm done too. All right. Georgia Gallagher from Wheaton, Minnesota. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Connor. The next interview was Lake Jorgensen of the Graceville area, and, um, yeah. Lake, my boy, what's up? Nothing. Why not? Simply vibing. All right, today I got a couple questions for you. Sounds good. All right, so how would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Um, a lot. Uh, I've been out of the house once, now it's to drive around. Um, our parents have been bulk shopping. We have about 100 pounds of potatoes, uh, a bunch of licorice, and we got like 20 gallons of ice cream, so we're all set. All right, that, that sounds like a good plan there. Yes. Um... What have you been doing to keep busy for the past two weeks? Remodel my basement and play video games. Really? Any good video games? Um, not really. Dang. Yeah. Just Modern Warfare. I mean, that that's an okay game. Yeah. Over and over again. For hours on end. I recommend Minecraft. It's a great game. Yeah. I haven't played Minecraft in a fat minute. Yeah, I, I uh, actually was playing Fortnite for about six hours with my six-year-old brother. I can't play Fortnite. I'm bad. We, I, I thought I was bad too, but something has changed. I was on a streak of ten uh, wins. Yeah, I've only caught a few dubs in my lifetime. Um, alright, so what's it like from going to a somewhat busy lifestyle with school and sports to where you are now? Uh, kinda nice. I can wake up at 11 every day, go to bed at 3, do whatever I want, basically. But I do miss school. 
I need to have a routine or else I go crazy. Yeah, I've been waking up between like 9 and 10 every day now. Yeah. I need to be more organized in my lifestyle. My room is a mess. I'm sleeping on the ground. Hold on. forward to your uh, school's distance learning program? No. They're having a bus come by our house every day to drop off paper packets. That's what our school's doing, too. We actually... I got a... I'll show you here. I got a whole load of paperwork and two cakes. Because Oaks wants me to make cakes, I guess. Damn. You do be getting cake, though. I got... Three times cake. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're not looking forward to your distance learning at all? Nope. Do you we miss, start tomorrow. Do you miss Wyatt? Yes. Do you miss... Wyatt's the only one you can miss. I mean, come on. <laughs> True. Oh, man. So if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Uh Huh <laughs> I'd have to say The people I'm spending Coronication with So who are you spending it with right now? My parents And my sister came home from college And she took my brother's room So now Jens is in my room uh, and he's remodeling the basement just so he can stop living with me because he hates me that much. Uh, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. You see, if I could spend my coronation with Wyatt, you, I don't know, uh, not my parents, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, where is Jens right now? Yes. <coughs> I. I. <laughs> um. Well, do you have anything else to share with us today? My room is a mess. I'm sleeping on the ground. I haven't made my bed in three weeks. Everything is breaking. And my sister forcefully remodeled my room. Look, I got this big old tapestry now. Well, you look like a basic white girl now. That's that's the point. That's what my sister is. I do be out here looking like a burnt chicken nugget. Um, so how's that poster doing on your wall? Haven't seen that in a fat minute. Jen has been breaking it a lot more. <laughs> it used to be fine. Now there's this big old tear. I'll need to tape it soon. I remember when I gave that to you like a year ago. <laughs> yeah. Except a year, you only mean like six months. When was cross country? Uh, you gave it to me August. August. So. It's about like seven or so months. Yeah, now. something like that. It used to hang up on my wall. Now it hangs up above my bed. Now I have a picture of Blake instead. Oh, that's a bad picture. Well, I got an even better one, Like, You want to see it? I'd love to see it. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> it accidentally got into my pictures to print, and it's been on my wall ever since. God damn it. Wait, here's one of you looking attractive. I got all many pictures of you, like. Okay, I do be. Yeah, my hair's about the same. Except I got a weird middle part from wearing a hat for too long. Wait, I got an extreme close-up of you. You want to see it? Oh, gosh. 
Oh, damn. You'd be looking fine, though. I do be looking fine, though. And then you remember this moment. Yeah, where you got <laughs> crap on my pants. Oh, wait, there's two more. Oh, my God, you're, like, up here seven times. <laughs> so we got, if you say, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. And then the final one is, they call me Taco Bell. Ah, nice. Nice, nice. Yes, sir. There's a lot of ones of... <laughs> I think I have Corona. Don't tell anyone. Alright, I'll only tell my 93 subscribers. Okay. Well, wait. You got anything else to say? Have a good Coronacation, Connor. You too, Lake. Bye. Goodbye. Then we had my son, Jace Olson. I figured he'd be a pretty good one to interview as he pretty much lost his senior year. So I figured he'd have some good comments about everything that's happening. Here it is. Jace, what's up, my boy? Good afternoon, Dad. All right, I got a couple of questions for you today. All right, let's hear them. All right, so how would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Pretty shitty. Really? Yeah. Do you miss school at all? A little bit, not much. <laughs> uh, did you do any sports this spring? Trap shooting. You miss that at all? Yeah. What have you been doing to stay busy? Watch Netflix. Any good shows? Criminal Minds right now. Nice. So, what's it like from having a somewhat busy life with school and sports to where you are now? Different. Different? In what way? From coming home and having to do all your school work, and then now you're just sitting at home doing nothing, with nothing to do, and it's boring. Well, starting tomorrow, you got your distance learning. You looking forward to that? Not really. You want to see my pile of homework I got yesterday? Oh, yeah. We got a whole freaking folder here. And then Oaks dropped by two cakes for me to make. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Not having to be stuck in my house. You want to get out of the house? Oh, yeah. I want to go work. You, I suppose you're not getting paid right now, are you? Nope. Well, it's not like you can really spend it on anything. You got to stay home anyways. That's true. Um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? I'd... I don't know. There's a lot I'd change. <laughs> One thing, just name it off. Um. Goddamn. I'd probably change... How it's affected people, so we won't be screwed over. So you, you just want people's lives to go back to normal? Yeah. I would have thought you would have changed your height or something. No. <laughs> I like my height. <laughs> you know, the first time I met you, I honestly thought you were like an eighth grader. No joke. Uh, yeah, a lot of people think that. But you're already graduating this year. That's crazy. Really crazy. Time flies. It does. Um, do you have anything else to share with us today? I do not. Dang, well, thank you for your time, Jace. No problem. See you later, son. See you, Dad. <laughs> now we have Wilson Ramon, a former Herman Norcross student and a longtime McDonald's employee. Now, initially the video was not recording, but I managed to have a backup, so we do have the full audio here. So, let's watch that now. Alright. Alright, Wilson, are you ready for my questions? I'm ready. Alright, how would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Uh, it's been a lot more boring. I don't know, I go to work now. 
a lot more, actually. That's it. I don't know. Just really boring. Uh, McDonald's wasn't affected by the shutdown? Well, it's really slow. I mean, there's only drive through right now. Uh, does that make the workload easier at all or no? It's easier. It's just really boring, so it makes it feel like it's taking forever. Yeah, I can see that. You get paid well. That's cool. What's you, that? You get paid well, Wilson? I get paid enough. Enough? <laughs> enough to make a living? Yeah, well, I don't know about that, but... Um, so... Well, you're not really around Herman anymore, so I'm just going to have to ask you some random questions here. No. What's it like from having school to, like, nothing? Well, uh, a lot of extra time. That's home. So I just play music, piano and stuff. And then our school starts, our school, um, online school starts tomorrow. You looking forward to that at all? Yeah, it's just something to do. True. Do you think you guys are going to be back on May 4th or no? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I've heard. Um, so if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Um, I don't know. I wish there wasn't social distancing. It's really boring. You miss seeing people? Yeah. Human contact? Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Um, so, um, you got anything else to share with us today? No, not at, not at all. What are the cities like? It's not, it's not really the cities, but... Okay, what is not... It's bigger. Like? It's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> There's more stuff. I don't have to drive so much. You miss Herman at all? I do, actually. I do miss Herman. Really? Yeah. It was nice. You're class of uh, three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a class of two. No, now it's a class of nobody. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> But, I don't know, there's a lot more options here yeah. for school-wise, which I really like. Herman was kind of bare bones for anything. It, it was. I mean, I liked the people. The people were nice. It was a lot more personal connection with everyone, but, yeah. Well, you got anything else to share with us, share with us today? Uh, good luck. We've got five cases in Stearns County here, but... So, oh, careful there. We got a we couple got in yet. the area kind of spread. Yeah, I saw it. you guys got one in, like, Ottershell County and stuff, but you haven't gotten any grant yet. Yeah, it's getting close. It is getting really close. They went up to 500 today. Huh. 500 cases in Minnesota. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, good luck out there. Oh, nine deaths. It jumped to four, four more deaths. <laughs> well, Wilson, I'll let you go here today. All right. Nice Stay talking safe. to you. You too. Nice talking to you too. Bye. But And then there was Joe Arns of Graceville, Minnesota. Joe. So kind of. Hold up, I'm gonna try to get the video going here. Okay. Alright, you there, Joe? All right, Joe Mama, how's it going? It's going great, man. All right, I got a couple of questions for you here today. I love you, Joe. I love you too, bro. All right, how would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? I've been working out a lot more than I usually do. Working out more? Oh, yeah, a lot. What have you been working on? Arms, legs? A lot of legs and a lot of core. That's an, that's pretty good, Joe. Pretty good. Too bad you can't really use that for track season this year. Yeah, it sucks, man. We just got new uniforms, too, so, like, we, we're not going to get to use them. <laughs> Dang, you don't, you're not the purple weirdos this year, or no? no? We were never purple. I mean purple, blue, blue, like... I mean blue. My mind's all over the place. I need school back. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to. I mean, there's still hope you guys have track. I mean, hopefully by May 4th it's all blown over, but... Okay. Um, so what's it like having a somewhat busy lifestyle with school and track to where you are now? I'm, I've still been pretty busy. I mean, school's just kind of gotten a 
replaced by the farm. I see. And I'm, I'm still practicing like I would if track was still going on. So, like, not, not much has changed. I'm just not in school anymore. That's good. Um, so, are you uh, looking forward to your school's new distance learning program at all? Oh, hell no. <laughs> it's it's going to suck. It's going to suck. Yeah, you want to see the giant packet I got today? Packet? Oh, this is, this is my schoolwork for this week. We don't start until tomorrow. Yeah, we don't start. I guess. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to it, Joe. It, it's going to suck. Because it's not like we can just do it at the end of the day. It's like we're going to need to check in to our Chromebook every single hour. Or at least that's what it sounded like it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting experience for sure. Um, it's going to be interesting sure, yeah. yeah. If you could change anything right now, what would it be? Track season still on, obviously. So you'd want track season out of anything? I want track season more than track. Yeah. Other than cross country, bro, track is left. I, I feel you, man. I was so pumped for track season this year. Then, nah, it's gone. Bro, I was getting ready to watch Andrew kick your butt on the hurdles again. Andrew. <laughs> Hennessy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not the best hurdler. I'll, I'll say that, but he's pretty good. Yeah, you're really good at like the the four by four. That's what you run, right? Yeah. Yeah. You had that one crazy comeback last year. I watched that video. Yeah, that everyone was talking about that one time. <laughs> My team kicked your butt in the four by eight though at uh, at Morris. That, that was fun. The last year was a really fun year for track. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was awesome, man. Oh, uh, what I wouldn't do to have that back right now. Oh yeah, this, this is gonna suck, man. <laughs> yeah, what have you been doing to stay busy, Joe? I suppose I already asked you that, but... I'm just... I'm running. I'm, I'm pretty much in summer mode right now. I'm just running and seeing a knot, man. Uh, that's great, Joe. Well, you got anything else to share with me here today? I miss you, man. <laughs> I miss you too, Joe. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's hope we're back for cross-country at least. Oh, yeah, we, we better be back across country or some shit's really up. I mean, if we don't have cross country, then I don't even know what to do anymore. That, that would be terrible. Yeah. Well, I gotta go get a haircut, so, like, I'll see you later. All right, I'll see you, Joe. Thanks for your time. Joe did not know how to hang up, so I had to do that for him. And then after that, we had the Sadie Vipond interview. Sadie. Wait. Hold on. Okay, I'm holding off. I have bad service in there. I, I can tell. Okay. Okay. Alright. Sadie, how was your life affected by COVID-19? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't get to see my friends as much, which kind of sucks. But I saw Jordan today, so it was okay. That's good. Yeah. What have you been doing to stay busy? Sleeping till noon. So that takes up my half my day. Um... Eating a lot because I got to do really cleaning my room and playing outside. Nice. So, what's it like from having school and sports to having basically nothing? It kind of sucks because, like, you're so used to like kind of like staying in shape from practice, and then you find yourself eating a lot, and then you gain a lot of weight and it's going to be hard to get it to get back in shape for practice if we go back do you miss having like a school schedule and stuff like that yeah I honestly kind of miss like getting used to getting up early now I'm off track yeah you miss, you miss having structure in your day yeah basically yeah but you do have school coming up are you looking forward to the distance learning 
No. <laughs> Not at all. Why is that? Because I feel like if I have questions, they won't really, like, understand it. They'll have to, like, explain it over, like, texting, kind of, like, emailing. And I guess they won't really get it. That, that's true. I feel like there's going to be a lot of problems that come out of this. Yeah. Like, teachers won't understand or, like... We won't know, like, what to do, like, if we're doing the right assignment or not. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the group FaceTime calls, sort of? Kind of, because, like, maybe they'll help some of our questions if we have them, but then I feel like a lot of kids will, like, mess it up or, like, do something dumb and then we'll get, like, something taken away out of it. I don't know. <laughs> like, we're going to... Somehow. They'll take away your internet privileges. Yeah, take away your computer privileges. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <sighs> if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Get rid of COVID-19. Like, that, just get, that's the one thing. Just get rid of it. Be done with it. Um, did you hear the news on the pickle jar? No. What is the update? Pickle jar, gone forever. It's no way. So, Where'd you put it? It was on the right side of the high school door. It's gone. Just gone? Just gone. You think someone found it and, like, threw it? I, I'm gone. figuring someone, like, chucked it across the parking lot or something. Honestly, Maybe. don't know. Um, do you have anything else to share with us today? COVID-19 sucks. Yes, yes it does. No. Well, Sadie, that's all I got for you here today. Perfect. Thank you for your time. Thank you. The last interview of that day was Hannah Zamilpa. She was actually one of the first people to want to take part of this project, and she also submitted videos for this video about what she's been doing to spend her day in quarantine. So let's take a look at those videos and the interview. What's up, Connor's vlog? I'm walking outside during my COVID-19 rampage. Go into the garage, turn on the light, boom, get in the car. I wonder if Connor, like, bleeps out all of the bad words, like, fuck, bitch, fuck, bitch, fuck, 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 bitch, fuck, bitch. I wonder if he puts noises in first. I got that on video. <laughs> I'm gonna say hi to the vlog. The vlog. Do you want to be famous or not? Like, what are you doing that's gonna make you famous? I'm going on a... making a taco. No, I'm gonna talk about the coronavirus. When are you gonna do that? Connor Goodhart's YouTube. The coronavirus has deeply, deeply, deeply made my family struggle with everything that we've had. It took everything away from me. No, it didn't. Hannah Zamilpa, how's it going? Perfectly fine. How are you? I am just great. How's quarantine going? It's It's been going. Yeah, yeah. Got a couple questions for you here today. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Um, I kind of hate it because I can't go see my friends and school is canceled and that's where I see the Connor Goodhart all the time. Yes, very. Um, what have you been doing to stay busy? FaceTiming Jordan Kill. <laughs> nice. Um... So what's it like from having a somewhat busy lifestyle going to school every day to where you are now? It's kind of a, a relief, but it also makes me not want to do anything anymore. That's because... true. And I can see where that would be a problem considering you started distance learning today. We did. How did you say that went over today? I just left in the middle of the class. It was stupid. <laughs> Nice. 
Are you looking forward to that for the next month? I'd rather do that than sit in class for eight hours. That's true, I suppose. At home, you can lay in bed all day and do schoolwork for like 20 minutes. That's basically all we do. Um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Us being quarantined, like, I would still stay out of school and everything, but being quarantined is really bad. So you want to be out and about again? I do. Yes. Is that it? Um, do you have anything else to share with us today? I kind of get hard. You too. I was just talking to Jordan Kill about this. He, he proves. He followed me on Instagram, like, five minutes ago. I know, because I told him to. On both of them. I told him to. <laughs> Tell him to subscribe to my YouTube channel while he's at it. And add me on Snapchat, too. I mean, come on. I will do that, and he will. All right, thank you. Goodbye, Connor. All right, thanks for your time, Hannah. Goodbye. Bye. Brit. Next up, we have Veronica Pearson. Now, the overall quality of this video wasn't the best. I mean, we did get it done, so let's take a look at that. Veronica. How are you? I am just great. How are you? Okay, I have a couple of questions for you here today. Okay. All right. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? It's, it's definitely been affected. I will, will say that. You know, I haven't seen like any of my actual friends face to face since the last day of school, which is, you know, kind of a bummer, but I mean, if it'll help slow the spread and, like, actually help fight the virus, I'm okay with giving up a little something. What have you been doing to stay busy during this time? I, well, I sew. I stress baked a lot. I've baked too many cookies. It's just bad. Um... So, what's it like from going to a school and sports lifestyle to where you are now? Crazy. Uh, I will say that. It's what? definitely weird not waking up at like 6 in the morning every day to get ready to go to school, to go to practice, and then just come home and hang out with my dogs, I guess. It's a big change. Um, how have your experiences with your school's distance learning program been? Pretty good. It's only our second day of it. There's been some issues, but... Um, what kind of issues? Not terrible. Like, with one of the things we're doing, it's called Ed Puzzle. won't load for anyone. Huh. Uh, one of our math teachers... Zooms have been really, really glitchy, so I mean, yeah. there's kinks, but... We've had problems like that, too, where someone would say something and the teacher would answer that question five minutes later. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Just anything in general? Yeah. simple answer but fucking <laughs> tell whatever started the virus to just leave or whatever <laughs> fair enough just simple answer get rid of it from the start um do you have anything else to share with us today um i'm raising your bread right now good it's rising in the kitchen so i can bake it I expect that to be delivered by Friday. Okay. All right. Everyone, stay home. Stay in your houses. Uh, help slow the spread and don't die. Sounds good. Okay. All right, thank you for your time. I told her to make me some bread. She never did. Then we had Lydia Vipond. Now this interview was pretty much just an interview. Let's take a look at it. 
Lydia Vipond, how's it going? It's going good. All right, I got a couple of questions for you here today. Cool. Um, what? How would you say your life has been affected by COVID nineteen? How I what? How your life was affected by COVID nineteen? Well, right when this all started, I got my license and now I can't drive anywhere, so that kind of sucks. Awesome. Yeah. So, how would you say you feel about that? I feel sad and depressed. I see. What have you been doing to stay busy during the past two weeks? Uh, I've been playing basketball outside of my brother. And we've had my two cousins, Lincoln and Elizabeth, over, and they're like four and two, so they keep me busy. So, what's it like from having a somewhat busy lifestyle with school and sports to where you are now? Oh boy, it's kind of boring. Boring? Like, yeah. You don't realize how much you miss school until you actually leave it. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, I know on Monday you guys started your distance learning program. How do you, or how are your experiences with it so far? So far, so good. Like, no complaints at all? It's perfect? I mean, it's not too hard. Not too hard? I would say. How do you, you can feel? look up most of the answers, pretty much. How do you feel about the Zooms and Google Meetups? It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. Awesome? <laughs> yeah. If you could change anything right now, what would it be? I could go somewhere. You want to go somewhere? I just leave the house. Anywhere. But yeah, anywhere, pretty much. Just go. What's the top place you'd go right now? Friends' houses. Friends' houses. Mhm. Mm nice, nice. Mhm. Mm uh, anything else you got to share with us today, Lydia? Nope. Anything at all? Anything to say? <laughs> All right, in that case, thank you for your time, Lydia. Thank you. Goodbye, adios. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Now, when Reese Sandler offered to be a part of this project, I really had no idea what to ask him because of the fact most of my questions are directed towards high school students, and he technically isn't a high school student anymore. But I did improvise and ask him some questions, and it turned out pretty good. So let's take a look at that now. Reese Sandler, my guy. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you? Not too bad. All right, I got a couple questions for you here today. All right. Uh, how would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Uh, not really at all. Like just living life as normal? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, I suppose you're not really quarantined at all, are you? No, and I just started a new job today, so I get to leave now. Uh, I have a reason to leave. Fair enough. Yep. So you haven't really been affected at all by this, and it's just, you know, your daily life? No, not really. Alright. Are you uh, still going to school at all? Yeah. Um, I'm done with my hours. I just gotta, like, finish my work or whatever. Uh, so have you been facing this distance learning thing now? Yeah, not really. I only had, like, paperwork to do, so I just have to bring it there and drop it off. That was all I had to do anyways, so now I just have to call them and they pick it up from me. Oh, uh, so really not too big of a change there? <laughs> no. Um, if you could change anything in the world right now, what would it be? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I suppose if you get rid of the Rona, it's kind of lame. There's no NASCAR on anymore. Yeah, everything's been pretty much canceled these days. I know. It's rough. Pretty much a boring life. What have you been doing to stay busy after all that? Oh, just hanging out, doing whatever. Running the sump pump at the farm like I'm doing right now. Nice. Just uh, pumping out the basement. There's like two feet of water in there every day, so. Jeez, how'd that happen? 
It happens every year. It's a dirt floor basement, and the ground's really low here. Mm. So, it's probably from the Corona TBH. Dang, that's kind of rough. Yeah. Uh, you got anything oh, well. else to share with us today or anything to talk about? I don't know, not really. The, uh, the Rona is kind of lame, but hasn't really affected me much, so. Yeah, just living your life, I guess, huh? Yeah, the sad life of Seed Randler. <laughs> I got a real big question for Wait, you haven't graduated high school yet, have you? No, not yet. You getting closer at all, or? Yeah, I'm going to do some more work tonight, hopefully within the next month. In the next month you're done? Yeah. That'd be pretty sweet, not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Reese Sandler, high school graduate. God, that'd be something. i tell you what. Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, me neither. Well, but, Reese, anything else? No, I think that's it. Raise hell, praise Dale. All right, thank you for your time, Reese. Yeah, talk to you later. Yep. Next up, we have Aurora Johnson, a Wheaton area high school student and also my girlfriend. I figured she'd have some good input on this situation, so let's take a look at that interview. Aurora Johnson, how are you doing today? I'm fine. That's good to hear. Got a couple questions for you here today. Okay. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? No more school, no more friends, no more anything. So, not really a fun life anymore, huh? No. What have you been doing to stay busy? Watching TV and taking naps. Anything good on TV lately? No. I see, I see. So, what's it like going to a somewhat busy lifestyle with school, sports, etc. to where you are now? Boring. Just boring. Yeah. <laughs> nice. If you actually, um, how are your experiences with your school's distance learning program? Mm, they're okay. How's that? They're just okay, I guess. It's not hard. Any, it's com not... any complaints at all? No. Um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? To see you. Anything else? Yeah. And Amber. <laughs> so you don't want to go back to actual school or anything? Nah, I just wish I could see my friends. I see, I see. Well, do you have anything else to share with us today? No. Anything at all? You got the floor. No. Nope. All right, in that case, thank you for your time today. Yep. Now, there's the Derek Lepke's interview. You just gotta watch it in full. Also, this may not be suitable for all viewers, so if you want to skip ahead, go ahead and do that. What's up? What's up, Derek? I'd like to start off by saying this is an honor. I'm glad I could have you here today, Derek. I got a couple questions for you here today. Okay. Um... Let's get started here. <clears throat> How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Your screen completely froze for like 10, <laughs> ten seconds. Your face was a... <laughs> but I'd say I've gotten a lot more Minecraft time and a bunch more other games. So it's not too bad. It's just a lot of sad things have happened with Minecraft. I really want to go into detail on that. No. <laughs> I don't want to relive the experience. All right. What have you been doing to stay busy? Minecraft and chores. <laughs> um, so how would you say not having school is going for you? I'd rather kind of be in school than online school, but... Yeah, 
Drew, how are your... It is what it is. How are your experiences with online school right now? Mm, half of the teachers didn't even have it all set up, so it's kind of confusing. Um, what's it like from having a somewhat busy life with school and track to where you are now? A lot more Minecraft time. Another time. Nice. Um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Have track back. You want track back? I miss it so much. And yeah. FCCLA. Yeah, but I mean, track's the big fish here. I don't know. kind of wanted to go to state for FCCLA. Hey, you're still going to go to state just, um, like in September. <laughs> I'm going to forget the whole entire project by then. Um, alright, I got a couple more questions for you. PS4 or Xbox One? That's a tough one, you know. No, I'm joking, it's PS4. Um, Minecraft or Fortnite? That's another not tough one at all, Minecraft. Boobs or butt? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. That one's a tough one. I. Right. Um. You have anything else to share with us today? I mean, I could tell the tragic stories of what happened in Minecraft. Well, we got time. Would you like to go into detail? <sighs> I guess I could relive the experience. <sighs> okay. So, I had. We were down in the mines. I told Connor, give me all your gold. I don't want you to lose it. I had my diamond pickaxe, full iron armor. Two minutes later, I go completely silent as I fall in lava. <laughs> then there was another time. Full iron armor, diamond pickaxe, stack of iron. A skeleton shoots me into the lava. <sighs> then... I haven't played Minecraft since this happened. I went, me and Connor were gonna make some maps so we could do some exploring. I just needed one sugar cane. So I got go out and explore, had all our gold, both maps, all our iron, full diamond armor, a diamond pickaxe. It's nighttime. I get hit by a witch. I try to dig a hole and hide, but they all fall in the hole. Then I slowly died. <laughs> Now I have a stone pickaxe and no armor. I just go on Minecraft and I, I, I quit right away. I can't do it. It's not funny. Do you, do you think you'll ever be able to turn on Minecraft again? Probably not on that map. <laughs> no way. But we have the trapped... Remember when we trapped the zombies? Yeah, when we uh, cured that one villager. God, that took forever. And the alpacas. And we, we let that chicken get out and he went into the other pen. I'd say it's a win. Sure. That was a good map. Yeah, I'd probably go back to that. I can't start a new one. <laughs> but I don't want to search for iron. Yeah, that's the... It's not really tough, but it's time-consuming. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I lost a stack of iron, a stack of gold, two maps. <sighs> that was my fourth diamond pickaxe I lost. That's tough. Or how we never thought of killing the wither skeletons. Yeah, we'd always just run and try to grab our stuff and one okay. get killed. <laughs> run in, grab the stuff, run back out. <laughs> We never really thought of punching them, did we? <laughs> we never thought of killing them. Man, we've been some we've been through some crazy Minecraft adventures in those three or four days. Especially when we were terrified to go to, through the Nether because every time you did, your game would freeze. Yeah, we we never know if we were gonna make it back out or not. I'm still sad about the pickaxes. 
It's okay, Derek. There'll be other pickaxes. I know, but I want to look for diamonds. <laughs> you pretty much searched that whole entire cave system. Mm -hmm. Remember that mine shaft we found? Yeah, they're numb in a dull. Yeah, it was uh, pretty epic. And I got caught in those spider webs for like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of digging myself out. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready for some more questions? All right, we're, we're back on. I got some more questions for you. Okay. What's your opinion on EDP 445? So many emotions when I watch his videos. Finally, something I have in common with. Beating my dick really hard. <laughs> Blowing up toilets. <sighs> and just having good times. So, would you consider jacking off to be a sport? I mean, if you can sit back and label golf and fishing to be a sport, I'd consider jacking off to be a sport. Fair enough, fair enough. Would you like to film the track highlight reel real quick? Oh, I, I suppose. <laughs> All right. You want to set up the camera and then just like walk away from it, walk onto the camera and just say there was no track season. I, I don't know how to run this thing. How do I work this? <laughs> 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 what do I do? <laughs> All right, Derek, Derek, just turn it sideways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and put it above your head. And then slowly bring it down, like really slow. Okay. And say, okay. Can you see me at all? No. Bring okay. It down really slow and say there was no track season. Are, are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Are you stupid? There was no track season. Is that good? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I knew I could do it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shoot. Well, you got anything else to say, Derek? Not that I can think of. All right. Thank you for your time today. All righty, then. See you later. Okay. Next up, we have Mariah Chernus, a Herman Norcross high school student and also the girl that does my Spanish homework. <laughs> Mariah, how are you doing today? I am doing great, Connor. How are you doing? I am just fine. All right, I have a couple questions for you here today. All right. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Well, I can't go anywhere anymore, so that's interesting. Anything else? No. You just can't go anywhere. Yeah, I'm stuck in the house the whole time, dealing with my sisters. Being stuck in the house, what have you been doing to stay busy? Sleeping, watching Netflix, cleaning. Solid. Yep. What's it like from having a somewhat busy life with school and sports to where you are now? I'm a lot busier, or I was a lot busier then. Now, I do nothing. Well, that's not completely true because you did start distance learning recently. How is that? It's bad. I don't like it. Why don't you like it? It's really confusing. Half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. So you prefer actual school than distance learning? Yes, I do. If you could change anything right now, what would it be? Coronavirus. I don't want that anymore. Wait, you have the coronavirus? No, like getting rid of it, like worldwide. So you just want it completely phased out? Yeah, so we can actually go back to how it used to be. So you prefer life pre-coronavirus? Yeah. Well, hopefully things start to turn around here after April 
when we're supposed to go back to school, but I highly doubt that's happening at all. Probably not. Well, do you have anything else to share with us today? Uh, I don't think so. All right, thank you for your time, Mariah. You're welcome, Connor. Goodbye. Bye. Jordan Perry was a quick and painless interview. Here that was. Okay. Jordan, how are you doing today? I, I've been better. Oh, dang, that's, that's not good. I know. It's okay. All right, I got a couple of questions for you today. Okay. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? My life has been canceled. That's relatable right there. <laughs> um, what have you been doing to stay busy for the past two weeks? Um, a lot of sleeping, watching TV, coloring. That's about it, actually. That's I haven't nice. done much. What's it like from having school and sports to having nothing? Um, very different. Usually I'm really busy and now I have nothing to do. Well, that's not completely true because you did start distance learning recently. Oh, yes. How okay, is, so now I, how's that now going? Now I have something to do. How's that going for you? Um, it's okay. It's not terrible. Any complaints at all? Um, some of the teachers are a little confused on how we're going to get assignments turned in, but otherwise it's okay. Do you miss being in actual school? Yes. Do you miss your sport? Yes. Yes. Is there anything you would change right now if you could? Um, I'd take the coronavirus away. <laughs> Does that work? That, that works just fine. Okay. Um, do you have anything else to share with us today? No, I think that's it. Anything at all. You got the floor. Um, I just want this to go away because I'm really bored and I miss all my friends and school. So, yeah. Nice. <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you for your time, Jordan. Yes. Thank you, Connor. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Then. Then there was Logan Young. Okay, video, come on. This is the Logan Young interview, take two. Logan? Thank you for calling Pizza Ranch. If you're calling to place an order, please press 1 and a ranch hand will be with you shortly. If you're calling to set up a tip night catering or to visit with Rob, please press 2. Otherwise, just stand in line and we'll be happy to take your order momentarily. Damn it, Logan. This was my actual face the moment that I heard that I called Pizza Ranch. But I mean, we did get the interview done on the third try, so it wasn't a complete loss. This is the Logan Young interview, take three. Logan Young interview, take three. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Were they open? No, they were uh, they were closed. Oh damn it! It said open. Huh. All right, now that that's over, I got a couple questions for you. Alrighty. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID nineteen? Hmm. Um. Kind of sucks. Can't leave the house. Just, you know, gotta stay here. It's true. You miss school at all? No. Not at all? Nope. So do you like your school's distance learning program more? No. It sucks. 
So you hate both of it? Yeah. Um, has it been any good at all or any problems with your Zooms or Google meetings? Um, no, nah, the Zoom's actually pretty fun because we uh, dress up in like stupid costumes and then just piss around. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What have you been doing to stay busy? Mm, working on the farm, the usual. Nice. Um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Um, anything. Anything at all. Hmm. social security number to, I don't know I just change it to somebody else's so I can steal their identity nice um do you have anything to share with us today um no am I gonna be <clears throat> YouTube famous after this yes you are I think the video is dropping this Friday Dude, when are we going to do a YouTube collab? We will talk about that at a later date, but it is happening. They better be ready. Oh, the world's not ready for us, Logan. All right, well, I got to go do math. So. All right. Thanks for your time, Logan. See ya. See ya. The last interview I had that night was Wyatt Kruger, and oh boy, what a way to end my night. This interview was interesting and also not suitable for everyone, so feel free to skip ahead, but I recommend you don't. Why, hello, Connor. Wyatt, my boy, how's it going? It's, it's going, that's for sure. Quick question before we start. What kind of interview are we going for? Are we going for funny or like an actual interview? Okay, actual interview, but you can make it as funny as you want. Say whatever you feel like. All right, just, just get that out of there. All right. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Honestly, I think I am benefiting because I do not have to be by my cursed teachers as much and my idiotic classmates. Solid. What have you been doing to stay busy for the past two weeks? Uh, video games and masturbation. All right. Um, so what's it like from having a busy lifestyle with school, sports, FCCLA to where you are now? Um, it's a, I don't think the transition from busy to not busy has affected me as much as like other people would expect it to. Uh, it's just getting the routine of doing nothing. I see. So I know you started your distance learning on Monday. How has that been going? Uh, it's a pain because you just have to really force yourself to do it. And I lack all motivation to do anything. So it's, it's been a rough time. Oh, I could imagine. Um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? Uh, it's a good question. I think, I, I don't think I'd change a thing, honestly. Just keep living life the way it is? Yeah. Pretty nice. All right. You got anything else to share with us today? Anything at all? Um, no. Favorite color, anything? My favorite color is purple. My favorite hockey team is the wild. And if you get Rona, you're going to die. All right. What's your opinion on... Um, like Jorgensen. He is a stupid piss boy. And that's all I have to say on that degenerate scum. All right. Sounds good, Wyatt. Anything else? No, that'll be it. All right. Thank you for your time, Wyatt. Thank you, Connor. Have a good day. You too.
<laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Now this was my final day of interviews and I had to roll out of bed for the first one, which was Emily Berger. I also forgot to mention that Emily also sent in videos, so we're gonna take a look at those as well. This was a quick and easy interview. Let's take a look at that now. <laughs> Emily, how's it going? Great. All right, I got a couple questions for you here today. <laughs> okay. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? Um, well, I was supposed to go to Disney World, and I was supposed to go to Disney World for a whole week, and we only went for two days, and then we had to come back early, and now it's in Wheaton, so that. That's great, and I can't leave my house, which means I can't see Gunner, which makes me sad. <laughs> Wait, so the virus has already spread to Wheaton? Yes. That's kind of frightening. Yes, very. So did Disney World shut down when you were there, or what was happening there? When we got there, it was only going to be open for two more days, so we went for two days, and then we couldn't go then. Sounds like a blast. Oh, yeah. All right. My next question. What's it like from having a somewhat busy life with school and sports to where you are now? Um, it kind of sucks because the only people that I see are my parents. And they get on my nerves a lot. And um, it kind of sucks just staying at home all the time because there's nothing to do. I just spend six hours a day on TikTok. So is that what you've been doing to stay busy? Yes. <laughs> that's that's something. Um, how are your experiences with your school's distance learning program? Boring. School's way easier now. Like it's I it's way easier to cheat if I need to. It's way easier to do assignments now. So you think it's a lot easier than being in actual school? Yeah, but it sucks because none of your friends are here. Yeah, so it's like, it's easier for classes, but it's the most boring thing you've ever done. Correct. <laughs> that sounds about right. If you could change anything right now, what would it be? Um, I would just go to school, like not have COVID-19 like that's not a thing if I could change one thing in the world I'd just get rid of it <laughs> do you have anything or else kill to... Daryl. <laughs> you have anything else to share with us today no I don't anything to say at all wash your hands don't touch other people and just remember that crying is okay because I have learned that in quarantine that crying is just okay <laughs> alright Emily thank you for your time today you're welcome have a good day next up we had Arnold Jibben after a few failed FaceTime calls and poor connections we did get the video done let's take a look at it now alright Arnold how's it going all right, I got a couple questions for you today. Yes. How would you say your life has been affected by COVID-19? It has been affected greatly. In what way? Um, I'm not able to go to school anymore. I can't go to state track. I mean, not that I would have actually got there, but I, I could have tried. So, Next year. Yeah. What have you been doing to stay busy? gonna show you my pigeons <laughs> i just literally sit in there or i play upstairs my legos nice which i haven't played with since i was four so i had to bring those back out since COVID. i mean that's something to do yeah um so what's it like from having school and sports to where you are now um boring it kind of went from like Really busy time to all of a sudden you just have nothing to do ever. Yeah. 
So I know you guys started your distance learning on Monday. How is that going? Great. Um, I can't do four subjects because schoology keeps messing up. And it says that I'm not enrolled in any classes. Huh. So that's going good. Yeah, it's probably not going to look too good. Nope. Um, if you could change anything right now, what would it be? completely get rid of it yeah just get rid of that or just put it in like some weird country like i don't know iceland or somewhere where there isn't much people all right you got anything to show us or share with us today sure all right if it doesn't bug out I have some of my boys nice yeah that one's named connor good That's it. So if you got anything else to share. Okay. Nice talking with you, sir. All right. Thanks for your time, Arnold. No. You. Finally, we have Marlene Guzman, the last interview at all. Now, this interview was kind of a mess as the audio and video, like something went wrong here. And... It wasn't the best interview, but I mean, it was an interview. So saving the best for last, without further ado, we have the Marlene Guzman interview. Hi, DG. Hi, Marlene. How's it going? It's going great. How are you? That's good to hear. Okay, I'm ready. All right, I got a couple questions for you. How has your life been affected? Okay. How has your life been affected by COVID-19? Wait, hold on. I can't hear you. Okay, wait, what? How has your life been affected by COVID-19? greatly because I can't do stuff can't go out can't see my friends nice since you can't go out what have you been doing to stay busy yeah I have learned every single TikTok dance really <laughs> and I have been reading Twitter tweets yes so you've been reading tweets on Twitter. Yeah, that's it. Just TikTok dances and Twitter. All right. Why didn't I like just watch TV for a bit? How are your experiences with your school's distance learning program? Oh, I'm terrible. Why is that? Because, okay, so when we have, like, actual, like, classes, I tend to skip my classes. So, therefore, when we do online learning, I can't skip my classes. That's, like, personally, like, be there, though. That's rough. Yeah, like, I mean, yesterday, I, I skipped four classes on accident, but, you know... I guess that'll happen when you sleep for 16 hours. That that will happen, yes. Yeah, that'll happen. Do you have anything else to share with us today? Oh, yes. Actually, I want everybody to see my cow. 
Okay, this cow right here, I got it from a trash can. Nice. It's a cow that hula hoops, and I got it from a trash can, and I got judged for it, but I said, you know what? Doesn't really matter. Because now it looks cool. You can't even see it. Okay, now it looks cool. That cow right there, legendary. I also have this $22 squan. You've seen it on my Instagram. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Nice. Yeah, I think that's all I have. All right. Thanks for your time, Marley. Okay, bye, CJ. Bye. Yeah, bye. Sorry for such an awkward interview. That's all right. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> now, with all these interviews being over, it left me with a final thought. Now, most people said they missed people or they missed being around other people. So... This made me think, just because we have social distancing doesn't necessarily mean we have to be antisocial. Because we do live in a time with instant messaging, texting, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever. You still have the full capability to talk to people and communicate with people. So I think we should use this time to somewhat better connect with one another. Now in the past, people would always say using your smartphone or whatever is kind of antisocial, but in my opinion, right now we can use this to become closer than we've ever been before as we face this social distancing and self-quarantine in the United States. And we should continue to use the technology we have until we can finally be reunited outside as this pandemic starts to die down. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.